Catching Meloetta in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is a hilarious, convoluted mess of a side mission, and we absolutely love it. Here's how you do it. So you can actually catch Meloetta in the Indigo Disc DLC as soon as you get out into the Blueberry Academy Terrarium. But honestly, if you didn't know that Meloetta was in the game, you would have absolutely no idea where to go or how to trigger it, short of a small clue given to you by an NPC at the school. You'll want to head right here in the coastal biome, just to the southwest and by a set of large waterfalls. Once you're there, this is where you'll need to use your senses a bit. Turn up your volume and walk around the area a little bit. What you're looking for is the background music to dip down and to see a breeze swirl around your character. It's a little tricky to begin with, but the important thing is that the music stops. This is your cue that Meloetta is in the area and ready to be caught. With the music gone and the breeze tussling through your hair, you need to show Meloetta you've got what it takes to compete with them in a dance battle. And the only way to do that, of course, is to spin on the spot for 10 seconds. Or more, if you like, Meloetta isn't going to judge. Just spin the left stick as fast as you can and your trainer will spin on the spot over and over until you stop them. Once you're done showing off your moves, pull out your Rotom phone camera by pressing down on the D-pad and change the filter until you get to the sepia one. This will add a lovely brown old school sheen to your camera and with this filter in place, you'll be able to look around the area until you spot the mythical Mon playing her flute into the breeze. If you hear a new song playing around you, you've done everything you need to do and you can freely battle and catch Meloetta. On the face of it, it's an absolutely ludicrous way to find a Pokemon, but if this is what Game Freak are going to start doing more and more of, count me the hell in. Back in the days before guide videos like this existed, and we Pokemon fans subsisted on playground rumours and, if you were very lucky, the occasional early internet forum, this is exactly the kind of convoluted list of loosely related actions that we would almost certainly have tried to catch legendary Pokemon in our game. Like finding Mew under the truck by the SSN, but only on a Tuesday and only if you had Mewtwo in your party. Pokemon have done stuff like this before, Hoenn's Reggies come to mind as the prime example, harnessing the power of video games to force a generation to try to learn Braille so we could encounter the golems in Ruby and Sapphire. But more recently, in an attempt to make almost all Pokemon available in the modern titles, Game Freak have steered more towards simple raids, or sometimes just straight up giving away rare mons, or otherwise just releasing them into the overworld where it doesn't really make sense for them to be. And while there is a bit of that in Scarlet and Violet, Meloetta's encounter method is a breath of fresh air, just convoluted enough to make it hard to find by accident, but with just enough logic that if you really tried to work it out, just maybe you might be able to land on the answer. More of this please Pokemon, it's about time mythical and legendary mons had that mystery about them again. And if you're looking for more Scarlet and Violet guides to help you out, stick with us here at GG Recon and check out these videos here.